Joining yeah. us now is Fox News medical contributor and rock star Dr. <laughs> David Samadhi, <laughs> who is a prostate cancer surgeon. Yeah. Thanks so much for being here. This Thank is you. so exciting. Tell us more about robotic uh, yeah. prostate cancer surgery. I'm excited that this study actually came out because more and more people and surgeons are starting to do robotic surgery. Mm -hmm. So what it really is, it's a remote control surgery for prostate cancer where you're actually not touching the patient. You know, before I went on to robotic surgery, we were cutting people, we were using our hands and what we call tactile feedback or touch. That's because we couldn't really see well. There was mm -hmm. a lot of blood in the field. Now, because of robotic surgery, since there's no incision, there's no cut, there's no blood in the field, we can do a much more That's precise wonderful. surgery and the patient can recover. But, but when a lot of people hear about robotic, they think somebody else is doing it. You're doing it. The surgeon is it, doing it. It's work. really the, yes. uh, absolutely yeah. right. It's the experience of the surgeon and the doctor that you choose. But, of course, with the robot, you have the high-definition camera, mm -hmm. and it's a much more precise procedure if you have the experience. And that's right. what we're getting out of this study, is that not every robotic surgery is going to be successful. Mm -hmm. Choose and pick the right centers of excellence, high-volume places, places where they study their data. And, again, experience of the surgeon is everything, not the actual robot. The other big message that's coming out of this is that with surgery, you're removing the entire prostate. So the follow-up is very easy. With a simple blood test, you know that your patient is cured, and you only keep radiation as a backup plan after surgery. If you get radiation today, it would be very difficult to do surgery after radiation. Mm -hmm. So now we're treating the patients with removal of the prostate, follow them very cautiously. The yeah. sex life is excellent. 85% of the patients are sexually active. 97% in the centers of excellence are getting their continence. Sounds all positive. It's all positive yeah. if you've done enough volume and have the experience. Is there a downside to any of this? If you don't and you just get behind the technology and your procedures are long, mm -hmm. the outcome is not going to be great. Mm -hmm. okay.